Right now, I am going to install this top peak child or baby seat onto my bicycle. I ordered this right online. It can hold up to about 48 pounds and it looks like it's pretty easy to install. So first, let's crack it out of the box and then we will start installing it on the bike. Here it is. Here's the seat here. It's a nice size. Again, holds up to 50 pounds so kids can get pretty big and still ride in it. And then here is the rack that we will be attaching to the bike. It's actually very simple to attach this rack. Let me show you how it's gonna look once we get it set up. We'll go here on the back of the bike. The rack will set in place here. My bike has two positions here. I'm gonna be using the top position. So I'll put the bolts in here at the bottom to get the rack in place. Then these brackets are bent in a way that they will go around the frame of the bike. We will put one bracket on this side. It will attach to the rack up here, like so. And then I will bend it down in place and connect it to the frame of the bike here. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and loosely attach the brackets to the bike frame, or the rack here. And then I will go ahead and get it into place on the bike here. So. Let's go ahead and take, we've got four screws that we are going to put on top of the rack here. So let's go ahead and start there. So per our directions here, it wants the screw through a washer, then we're gonna go through the rack in the bracket. Then it wants a washer on the back side, under, and then the nut on top there. So I'm just going to repeat that four times until I have all these screws and nuts in place. And then I will tighten everything down kind of once I get everything set up and in place. The only thing you want to make sure that you're doing here is that you've got the bracket set up uh, with the appropriate curve that will go around the frame of the bike once you get it installed. There we go. So we've got the brackets loosely attached to the rack here. Now let's get it attached to the bike back of the bike here. We'll get everything kind of tightened up. So for the back of the bike here, what it's looking for is just a screw with a washer on it. So we got that. Get it through the rack and success. On that side, Let's get the back side on here. Super easy to just twist it in by hand, tighten it as much as I can. And then for this, I have a 3 16 Allen wrench that we are tightening it with here. So I'm not gonna tighten it exactly all the way. I just wanna give it a little firm because I still want it to move a little bit. So now, Let's go ahead and kind of get these brackets ready. First thing I want to do is remove these screw pieces here. So let's see if I can do that. Nope, I'm gonna need a smaller Allen wrench. Um, so I've got these pieces out, these screws that go on the bike up here. I'm gonna set these aside here for a second. The first thing that I want to do is kind of get these brackets firm and into place first because I'm gonna end up bending them down. So I think it would be smart to kind of get these locked in place first and then start to bend these down. So for that, I need a wrench. So let me go grab that. All right, cool. So I've got a pair of pliers here. I'm just gonna hold the bottom screw in place while I use my Allen wrench here to tighten up all the screws up top. So I got a good handle on the brackets. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna bend the brackets down and attach them to the frame of the bike here. Push down. And voila. Work the same on the back side here. It's exactly the same. There we go. 
Now I'm just bending it up a little bit just because it's getting it this, this piece right here more flush with the actual frame of the bike. And now let's start wrenching it in and that'll get it in place. Now I'm gonna come back to these and really tighten these up nice and good. Oh, that's right, I need a different wrench here. So back to these on the actual rack, clamp those in and then just go through tightening them nice and all the way now. So the bike seat is made to come on and on and off. You push this red button and then you can slide out this yellow plastic piece. Now what we're gonna do is put it to the bike or attach it to the back of the bike rack here. If you end up getting one of these, you'll see it's got a slide here. It comes right down on the bike. Now the seat is in place. I removed the locking mechanism. It's got a red button on here that you push to get it into place. And then it's also got a plastic locking lever. Now, once you get the seat in position here, you will simply slide through. There's a slot at the bottom. You slide through, push down the red button, push it in, and then I have to get a little tap um, so it doesn't catch. And then once it goes through, the red button will pop up inside the hole once you've got it in the right position. And then you are locked and loaded, ready to go. That's it. This is the first time I did this. It was pretty straightforward and simple. Basically one, two, three, four, five, six screws and some washers and no power tools. There you go. If you like more DIY around the house stuff, feel free to check out some more of my videos. I'll see you in the next one.